thank you my darlings for returning if you find this amusing press that little like button and please subscribe so you can see all the crazy things that i do de porte which is ready to wear which is uh, already made just simply you know a design off the runway ready to wear and then we we trickle down to high street is what they call it now back in my day we didn't call it anything <laughs> in the 60s and 70s we started having these groovy uh boutiques uh pop up that would carry this streetwear type of item. But of course, those designs were much more radical. People, a company or a designer that would recreate these things in a much more acceptable manner uh, for middle America to wear, to work, to not be controversial, etc. Now we get high street, um, but it was cheap. And we didn't know about the cheap labor practices and we didn't know about the chemicals that they were using. And people were discovering really cool fabric back, especially when Porte Ready to Wear came about, um, 50s, 60s. And, um, but in there, there were some you know, dangerous chemicals that we haven't had around before. So that's a problem going into fast fashion. We're, we're horrible fabrics. We're seeing chemicals. We're seeing badly designed items that might look good at the moment and be trendy, but gone the next season. There were maybe five collections of a year when I started in the fashion industry. Um, and so of course we've gone forward and forward and forward. And now there's freaking like you know, 10, 12 seasons that uh, of these design houses can uh, produce. And so you have a company, uh, a fast uh, fashion company producing 500 new items a day um, in each factory. And think about that. Think about all the people that are just wearing this for trend to look cool, great, love it. But they're wearing these horrible fabrics, this terrible tailoring, and they may throw it out, they may donate it, but where's it going if it's not being used? It's going to the landfill, that's where it's going. And that is where we are today with the number two polluter being fashion in the world. I buy things um, at a thrift store, at a vintage boutique, at a, especially I love estate sale, and I am wearing it Hi. to the very end of its beautiful life. Uh, but I'm telling you, I haven't gotten rid of stuff for a long time. Um, and if I do, I sell it on the pre-loved market. And I feel like I'm giving it to somebody who can have something fun, something historical. And hopefully, you know, and if they don't recognize the history behind this, that's okay. They're looking fabulous. They're feeling good about it. And it's pre-loved. And we're getting more use out of this hopefully gorgeous well tailored i have discovered that saving a little extra money buying beautiful fabrics beautiful tailoring take a look at how these things are made they're they're ready to fall apart in a month you know and even luxury brands are terrible these days at quality control we're seeing some pretty radical stuff out there so you know we need to do our homework. We need to see what, you know, what the problems are out there. You know, um, just put in to your web browser Chanel quality um, issues. And so many things are gonna come up that you're gonna be shocked about. <laughs> <laughs> their handbags and things just falling apart. Their, jewel their custom jewelry just 
falling apart, baby. And how much are you paying? So we also need to not assume that luxury goods are good. So we need to do a little investigation before we go out and spend our hard earned money. Please, if I can in, in engage you in, in one practice, I would say really look at what you're going to buy. Is it, is it well made? Are the clasps of, <laughs> I can't say that, uh, are the clasps of the uh, jewels holding in that pearl or that crystal or that gem? So it's not going to fall out or is it just cheaply and it's like this barely, gr you know, gripping that thing and it's going to fall out like within days. Let's look at those things and I want you to have the most beautiful wardrobe um, and look and feel gorgeous. You know, your faces and your hair look so fabulous. You know, clothes, you know, even if it's a t-shirt, let's let's look to see how long this thing is going to last and it's not going to fall apart on you in a month. And let's also think about, do we really need to get rid of this thing after the trend? Keep them and express yourself for many years and show your beautifulness. From Hot, hot Pink Grey. And I thank you so much, my darlings, for joining me today. Bye.